how to make a family is the key to everything spring wreath with two-tone burlap next on our second place it's super funny ah! Hey everybody, it's Shauna from Our Set in Place, and I'm here to show you how to make a two-toned burlap wreath. And this month I'm participating in, well every month I participate in a Pinterest challenge where I get together with some of my craft blogger friends and we take a pin that we've been eyeing on Pinterest and instead of it just sitting on our computer, we actually do it. What? So I found this awesome pin from Diana at Being Mommy with Style, and she has this great video tutorial on how to make a two-toned burlap wreath. And so I literally just followed her video step by step, and it was so well thought out, um, and made it really easy. I'm gonna put a link to her video below because she was amazing. And um, this one's my first time making a burlap wreath, and so I did, um, mine's a little bit different from hers. And so I'm just gonna show you um, my take on the burlap wreath and how I kind of made it my own using her video as my inspiration. So I'm gonna pause the camera and do an up um, different viewpoint and um, I'll show you what I have so far. It's so fun. All right, I'm back. So this is my wreath so far and this is going to be the top of it over here when I began I um, attached I punched a hole through both pieces of burlap I'm using two colors a mint green and a burlap with a design on it and I put both together and I attach them with just some jute twine and then I'm also going to use this jute twine at the end to hang it up on my door. This also helps me um, remember where the top of my wreath is because I can just look up and see that string is up there and that helps me um, figure out where I am. So, so far what I've done is I attach the two pieces and I weave them in and out and I did the um, designed the piece with the graphics on it on the top and the bottom simply because I had a lot more of it and then I did the color in the middle and so I did the top one is in the first row the colored colored pieces in the middle row and the graphic um, the second graphic piece is in the last row so that's how I um, when about doing this. And I'm also excited about this project because I have had this graphic burlap for a long time. I got it several years ago at Michael's on sale and I had all these different ideas that I wanted to do and I just never got around to it. So um, I thought this was the perfect opportunity to actually put it to use. And it's this is gonna hang on my front door and um, I'm kind of going, oops, I'm kind of going with a Key to my heart, key to my home. Um, they have these really cute keys at Michael's, and I think I'm gonna try to incorporate them, but it might be too much, I'm not sure. So, um, so that's where this stands right now. So I've gone through and I've just weaved it in and out and fluffed it up, and this is, you know, my first time attempting it, so I think these are a little bit more puffy than the ones at the bottom if you're really looking at it, but um, we'll see how, it, I can always adjust it at the end. And then also I got some um, flowers at Michael's that um, complement this nicely, I think. And also this ribbon um, from, you know, just the Celebrate brand was on sale as well. So when I went back to Michael's, um, to, when I decided I wanted to do this wreath and was looking for a colored piece of material, um, I found the mint green was on sale and the matching bow was on sale. So I decided to go with that. So let me turn it so you can see how it will look when it's straight up. 
Um, so that's, this is how it looks so far. And the, the bow I just attached um, to the wire. And I was also starting to run out of the green. So there was kind of a spot here where there wasn't as much green. So I figured, well, that'd be perfect. I'll just put the bow there. So that worked out nicely. So let me show you exactly what I'm doing right now. Let's come to the end of the line. So I have a new roll that I'm going to attach. So I want to take the graphic side up, the other side's plain. So I want to make sure that the side with the graphic is up. I lay the other one on top and I've already cut my string. So it's ready. I cut two pieces, about four to six inches, probably, um, you know, it's better just to err on the side of caution, just to err, make it a little bit longer. Probably don't need full six inches, but um, six inches. And then take my scissors and punch a hole through. Big. And it's easier to cut the string first because if you don't, the hole um, might be hard to find your hole. I just made that mistake um, and had to stop the video and redo it. So I'm just going to tie it together like so. so don't lose the hole and stick the string through you have a um, embroidery needle handy then that would probably make this step easier This is where my, I've already done my middle row with the green and now I have this puffed up and I want to make sure that I can't see the seam when I go through again. So I'm just going to fold it over, push it down and twist it a little and then push it back through. to do about three greens per section. That's what seemed to work really well. So three loops per section for the graphic and for the green. So now I have this green and now take this, fold it, and push it through. a little. And then have a 
green. Take it and fold it. Twist it. back up through the top. And then that's three on the top. I'm going to squish it over, but I feel like I need one more green. So I'm going to fold it and pull it through. looking at it and you're doing it, sometimes it kind of doesn't look as good, but then you pull it away and it does look good. You are getting it right, so, um, you know, just go easy on yourself. And then, now I've come to the wire and I'm going to start up again. So, take this and grab it and fold it over since it's wide and then go back and real. So here I've just cut some string, tied the two edges, and I'm going to loop it um, through one of the loops in the back. And I just tie it and it's done. Everything is secure. It's not going to come undone. And I'll just tuck that in as well so it doesn't hang with the glue. I can fix that a little bit more later. So now we're done. This is how it looks. And I have the bow at the bottom. Now I still have these flowers. I'm not sure how I want to put them in. I might have to take this outside and Look on the door and see because I can't decide if I want them behind the ribbon at the bottom or catty corner at the top. So I'm going to play around with it and um, then I'll decide. Um, and when I go to do it, I'm going to, you know, attach it in and I'll feed it through um, the back. Unless I can cut it off. Yeah, I can't cut that off. Okay. So I'll just feed it through. Let me show you what I have in mind. Just say I want to have it on the top here. Um, I'm going to feed it through so it goes to the back. Sorry, this is a little tricky. I told you this is my first time. If you watch uh, Diana's video, um, she does it really well. It makes it look so easy. She's awesome. Okay, either way I go. I got it. Okay, so going to the back and then it's going to lay in the back and um, I can either hot glue it down, or I might even be able to just leave it as it is. Maybe you can loop it around something. Um, so, can you see it on camera? Yeah, there it is on camera. Okay. Um, loop it around so it's like there. So, let's see, how does that look? Do you like that? Oh, look at that. I didn't even realize I did that. I did it directly above the ribbon. Can you see this on camera? Sorry, I'm getting it from top down. Okay. So, I don't know. I'll play around with that. I kind of wanted to drop to the corner, um, so I'll have to fix that and, and then see how it goes. And so then once you're done, you can just like fluff these, zhuzh them up, um, make all of them look really pretty, and you're done. So if you like this video, make sure you um, hit that like button and subscribe for lots of fun, easy crafts and um, creative parenting tips. And make sure you check out Diana's video. I'll put the link below and um, I'll add a lot of, um, I'll put a link to my blog on there as well so you can get all of that great information, um, the full tutorial and that's about it. Thanks everyone.